In Liverpool, England this weekend, they'll commemorate what would have been John Lennon's 70th birthday. Lennon's son, Julian, asked a Northeast Ohio artist to create a sculpture to honor his father's memory. Today, News Channel 5's Paul Kiska talked with this young local artist, an artist you could have knocked over with a feather when she got the call from Julian Lennon. And that's well put, Lee. Julian Lennon wanted a piece of artwork that incorporated, of all things, a white feather. His father, John, always kept a white feather on his piano. And by the way, this international artist who did the sculpture graduated from Westlake High School last year. 19-year-old so like Lauren Voyers drew Disney characters as a child, but in sixth grade, her teacher at St. Raphael's in Westlake called her parents to say, your daughter is a talented artist. So I finished it actually in oil. In her early teens, her work, like Spanish Villa, was so stunning, she was soon represented by an agent. The word was out. Voyers began listening to John Lennon music and the Beatles when she got the call that shocked her. Julian Lennon asked her to make a sculpture in his father John's memory, incorporating peace and a white feather. John told Julian that in the event of him passing away, he would come to him in the form of a white feather. And I hung up the phone and, not lying, I looked on my floor and there was a white feather on my carpet. And that was just the most powerful thing that's ever happened to me. She was already painting a 3D piece called Peace and Harmony and turned it into an 18-foot monument. She included a white feather. This is a picture of her working on the sculpture before it was sent to Liverpool. A pillow, a coat, wherever that feather came from, she keeps it on her piano like John Lennon always did. This 19-year-old could have chosen many paths, but creating art is her passion. Everybody I know has something that they love to do or something that makes them feel good. And it's just continuing that and, you know, just using that as an outlet, as a channel. And, you know, because I did it so much, that's kind of where I, what led me to where I am today. Now, Lauren will be standing side by side with Julian Lennon this Saturday in Liverpool when the curtain is lifted on her monument dedicated to John Lennon. And thanks to Mrs. Hill, Lauren's sixth grade teacher who first noted Lauren's incredible talent at St. Raphael, St. Raphael School. We have a link to Lauren's website, uh, her art gallery, at newsnet5.com.